Hey, what's going on, Savages? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mikey Savage 21 bringing you another movie review. And today, we're going to be getting sweaty and talking about the 2017 film known as Snatch, which is directed by Jonathan Levine and stars Amy Schumer, Goldie Hawn, Joan Cusack, Ike Barinholtz, Wanda Sykes, and Christopher Menloni. And basically, this is a film. It's about a mother and a daughter, and they basically go on an unexpected venture, and the vacation seems to go wrong when they're seemingly kidnapped and they are transported to Colombia and now they must find their way back to Bogota and try to become rescued. Now again the premise is pretty simple it's pretty straightforward you know you have a mother and a daughter they go out together on this vacation they get kidnapped and then they have to try to fight their way back. So again this is an action movie with comedy in it but to me it's more so a comedy movie. I think this movie came out at the right time and it's been marketed as a Mother's Day weekend film because again it's a mother-daughter film so I think it was a good time to put this out now getting to some of the actors uh amy schumer uh, the last thing i saw her in was train wreck but she always does these different comedy sketches uh on different shows and everything and then of course she had her own show at one point to me i love seeing amy schumer on screen i think she is a hilarious female i think she brings a lot to the table as a female comedian her relationship with goldie hawn in the film i bought it it was genuine they've seen more like they could be like like sisters than mother and daughter into some degree um but again it was good to see amy schumer uh it was good to see goldie hawn together joan cusack and ike barinholtz always a pleasure to see them on film as well ike barinholtz i'm still gonna always remember him from the neighbors franchise that clown that clown gag would never go away wanda sykes is always a presence to see on film as well haven't really seen her in much the most thing that i remember her from um is probably gonna be the new adventures of christine you can always tell her voice voice out of anybody else's as well christopher maloney uh, it was good to see him in this because again it was like he was playing a mesh of some of the other characters he's played together and just doing it all at once especially how eccentric he was uh this was like his counterpart to maybe ban of steel mixed in with his character of freak show um from harold and kumar go to white castle maybe a mixture of them but basically that's it for the characters nobody really was a standout here in this film again amy schumer and goldie hahn i like the the genuine chemistry they had one decides her chemistry with joan cusack was kind of cool ike baron Holtz is playing the brother who's like a complete shut-in you know what he, he was fine uh again he had some genuinely funny moments as well throughout the movie. I will say some of his funnier moments were shown in the trailer, so probably go into this without maybe watching the trailers and you'll get a little bit more out. Now, the big question in everyone's mind is, was this movie funny? And how did it compare to Amy Schumer's last film where she starred in it, which was Trainwreck? So getting to the first one of, was it funny? Yeah, it had some genuine laughs in there. I mean, it wasn't like ha ha funny all the way through, but there was some genuinely funny jokes in there. Uh, there and again, this is a product of where you put too much of the somewhat funny jokes in the trailer, and then you have no context to how it plays out, so it doesn't necessarily seem as funny, but then when you see it in the context of the film, it makes it a little bit more funny. Um, but there and again, going into this completely blind is probably the best way to do this. Um, again, some of the jokes fell flat. Some of them, you know, were hit and miss. Uh, again, Amy Schumer, um, I loved her comedic style and her comedic chops. They complimented Goldie Hawn and her personality and as far as amy schumer was she better in this or in train wreck well to me her performance in train wreck seemed a little bit more genuine i think she was having a little bit more fun and being more true to herself this one seemed like she was trying to be more like herself but then trying to get away from that shtick that she has again I liked how she was in Trainwreck. She was a good lead in that film, especially going up against with uh, Bill Hader and how they complimented each other. Again, Amy Schumer can do no wrong. So again, I enjoyed her in this movie, but I felt like she was a little bit better on display in Trainwreck than in this movie. If anything, I think Goldie Hawn stood out a little bit more in certain scenes than Amy Schumer did. But as a whole, I really dug the film. Um, I could tell that Paul Feig had something to do with this because I'm actually looking now and he was actually one of the producers on 
on it. Uh, let's just go ahead and just make the assumption that anytime it's a female driven action comedy film, that Paul Feig is going to have something to do with it. So getting to some of the cinematography, we got to see what South America looks like. Some of the beautiful landscapes. Uh, I love how they accented the waterfalls and the customs of the people that live there. But overall, I'm glad that they also took some time to focus in on the beauty of this. But as far as the score goes, I'm actually going to go halfway high on this again. I thought it had some genuinely funny laughs. Not like, oh my gosh, I need to go see this again laughs. There are there were some genuine laughs that I will always remember from this film, but nothing that's like major, major. So I'm going to go with a 7 out of a 10 on this one. Again, I thought it was pretty dope. I thought it was real funny. Again, Amy Schumer and her personality with Goldie Hawn. I thought they had really good chemistry together on camera. But in terms of a Mother's Day weekend comedy, I think it was really cool and I think you all should go check it out most definitely. But guys, what did you think of the movie Snatch? Have you seen it? Do you plan to check it out? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, before I forget, I want to wish a very happy and special Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. Thank you all so much for what you do for this country. But as I always say, guys, remember to become a savage, stay a savage, and peace out, y'all.